Hi, I've got another little lesson for you here on bar chords if you want to go the next, uh, to the next step on bar chords. At this point you know the E major shape for bar chords and the E minor shape for bar chords and we've taught you how to name your bar chords as you're, as you're moving up and down the, the neck. Now at this point you're ready to learn another shape for bar chords and this really allows you to be pretty conversant as a guitar player when you know this next shape along with the E major. This is how it works. We've done all the E major and E minor stuff. Let's go to the A major bar chord shape. So think about your A major chord. You should all know that at this point. Okay? And incidentally, just to remind you, A minor is this. So now what we're doing is we're going to create that as a bar chord. So think about this one. We have um, open strings on the bottom two strings and then these three fingers are essentially two frets above the open string and then the high E is open as well. So when we create our bar, we're going to have our bar, these two strings are going to be just with the bar and then the second, third and fourth string of the guitar are going to be covered and the first string is going to be open. So this would be an A major shape. And we can move that shape. Okay, the minor shape, kind of similar, we have this shape. So if we move it, kind of do what we did with the E major chord, we change that fingering and then we move it up and there's our minor shape. Neat thing about that is the major shape is here and then that's the E major shape, and then the A minor shape, we simply move those fingers down a string, or it's actually up a string, and we get the minor shape. So let's think about this a little bit. This is A major. If we go basing it on the second fret, this is B major. Based on the third fret is C major. Based on the fifth fret is D major based on the seventh fret is E major. So that's interesting. It's another way to play an E major chord. If we go to our minor shape, there's our A minor. If we base that on our second fret, it now is a B minor chord. Third fret, C minor. Fifth fret, D minor. Seventh fret, E minor. And so now we've got a whole nother set of bar chord shapes to use uh, that kind of work together with the others. Let's show you real quickly how I might do that. If I'm playing a G major bar chord, I can very quickly go to a C major bar chord by simply changing to the A shape. G, C, back to G. Just like if I were playing open chords from E to A, back to E. Only now I'm doing it in a bar chord form. I want you to try it. If you have questions, come and see me and I'll explain it further. But for now, I'd like you to see if you can't create your bar chords based on the A major shape and the A minor shape. And you'll have a larger vocabulary of bar chords. You'll have the E major and minor shapes to use and the A major and minor shapes to use on your bar chords. Give it a try and show me what you know when you figured it all out.